Have you ever wanted to be in the Coruscant Guard? You want? Have you ever wanted to have this amazing red morph and the authority over Guard members making them post and jailing them for doing horrible crimes in the city of Coruscant? Well then, this is the video for you. This video will go over how to become a part of the Coruscant Guard without leaking any of the tryouts and examining. Enter the booth. So, make sure you watch till, to the end so you know how to join the Coruscant Guard. Group in Coruscant. And how you do this is by going, uh, by leaving the game, leaving the game, or you don't have to, you can just, if you're on a computer, and you can just exit out of this. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to this here, the, the game page. You're gonna want to go to the developer here, which is a group, and it will say Gar Grand Army of the Republic. And you're gonna want to click the join button, and you will become a cadet. And cadet, you um, basically have no power whatsoever. You don't have a gun or anything. Just be careful. Um, and then what you're gonna want to do is now that you're in the group, you'll you'll be a cadet. You're going to want to at least rank up a little bit so that, because most divisions have a rank requirement to join. As you can see, I'm Warrant Officer. That's like one of the highest ranks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look. Warrant Officer is way up here. After that is war Upper Warrant Officer and Chief Warrant Officer. And so you're going to want to be at least, I would say, at least a specialist or lance corporal to join a division. And a bit before we move on a big misconception is um, when you click on the affiliates tab you'll see all these divisions and everything here um, a big misconception is that you can just click on one of these groups and click the join button and like be able to see um, and like be able to um, join the division without having to do anything that is just not true you don't that's not how it works you have to you have to um do some more things other than that and we'll be getting onto that now so the only way you can join a division is by joining the discord server so you can do this too in multiple ways you can go to this little part on the group you can go to this little part on the group the social links or you can go to the game page and scroll all the way down and find the little icon there. Um, but the only thing is, is if you look at the very top of the screen here, it'll say my username and it says 13 plus. Your account must be 13 plus and you must be 13 or older in real life. Because that is the minimum age requirement to be on Discord. So once your so once your account is 13 plus and you are actually 13 or above, you can join this by clicking on it. Um, I don't know why I opened this, but let's just let's just click the F11 and go to Discord here. So yeah, you can join the. You, so once you join the Discord server, you will um, you will see um, that you won't really see any of these channels here. You will only see like probably public announcements. Gar UCG information rules and how to verify and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure you verify and basically all you really need to do is just go to that how to verify thing and do whatever it says here so you're just gonna do semicolon verify your username here in the probably verified channel and the bot will look at your profile and blah 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 and it'll get you verified and once you're verified all these channels here will open up and the only channel you're going to really want to look out for is the recruitment channel. This is the only channel you really want to look for if you're trying to join the Coruscant Guard. So, if you click the Coruscant, uh, if you click the recruitment channel, there will, as you can see there will be like a bunch of different um like like choices you can um there will be a bunch of different tryouts that are hosted at random times um um allowing you to have a chance to join a division and so for Coruscant Guard um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look in here and you're gonna want to go all the way up so if you see this little bar here you want to click it and hold and you're gonna scroll all the way up to the top until you see this and 
sometimes you will see a message from a Coruscant Guard High Command and it will say the Coruscant Guard examination and it'll be the examination for the Coruscant Guard. Right now, at the time of this recording, the Coruscant Guard examination is currently closed for reformations. So, um, it's closed. You can't apply anymore to become the Coruscant Guard. But I always suggest that you check up at this top part here and look for the examination. And it'll just be a Google Google form you click on, and you have to fill out all the questions and everything. And if you get it right, you can go to this Coruscant Guard examination results sheet and see, and you can find your username and see if you have passed. If you have passed, you should be getting a, a direct message from um, a recruitment management person. Um, and they will give you all the information you need to become Coruscant Guard. But there is a second way you can join the Coruscant Guard. It's not only the examination, it's by a normal tryout. And that can also be found in this recruitment section. So, the uh, recruit the like recruitment po like post will be posted and there will be a link usually under the link section here. You'll click on that and it'll be like in a special it'll be in a private server. And you're gonna make sure you you're gonna want to make sure you look at the Legion requirements or the requirements because it tells you all the requirements you need for the Coruscant Guard. And you can of course you can look at all what all the rest of the stuff, but it's not exactly the most important. Only the really only the bold and stuff is that important. So make sure you read anything in bold in the tryout message. And yeah, once you go in to the tryout, there will be a bunch of different stages throughout the tryout. I don't think I'm able to share them, but yeah. So you just if you pass a tryout, you will be um, you'll be placed in the Coruscant Guard, and you will be able to do all the Coruscant Guard stuff. And so before I end the video, um, I'm going to show everyone what you act what being a Coruscant Guard is actually like. Of, of course, you can go watch any of my other videos like Life of the Coruscant Guard or anything, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you what Coruscant Guard gets and what everything everything that the everything that you would get and the benefits of joining the Coruscant Guard are. So let's do that right now. Alright, so upon, the, upon joining the Coruscant Guard, nothing will be different in the main menu, except for when you click pay, play and under the Guard team, you will see this other team here called the Coruscant Guard. And so Depend, so make sure you follow Coruscant Guard regulations so before you join this team. Um, but since uh, but since uh, and so I will show you what you get as a Coruscant Guard. So you just click on the team. You choose wherever you want to spawn, whether it's base or border. I'm going to go to the border, and so. Here we are, this is the Coruscant Guard morph, you get this beautiful red morph here. Um, you don't get a free jetpack though, you still have to buy the jetpack for Robux. Um, and, the, and so the basic items you do get is cuffs, shock pike, laser rifle, and I believe a clearance 1 card. And depending on what your ranking is, um, Depending on what your ranking is on the on the pedestal here is determines if you get a blue lightsaber or not. So yeah. Um now this is now everything else you see in my inventory is from is from um is like from game pass and stuff. So the blue lightsaber, blast rifle cuffs and the clearance one and the shock pike are all things you can get as a Coruscant Guard. Next now, make sure the you read the Coruscant Guard rules and everything before using these tools so you know how to use them properly and you won't get in trouble. The only thing, the worst thing that could possibly happen to you in the Coruscant Guard is if you break a rule and you fail to do whatever it is you need to do or you break it or you break the rule too many times, you'll be kicked out of the division. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you can rejoin again unless it's a blacklist. Yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much what the Coruscant Guard gets. You are you have a lot of stuff at your disposal. It's quite fun to be a Coruscant Guard. I don't know what the heck is happening. 
but yeah basically that is all you have that is all for this video if you want to see more videos like this make sure you please leave a like and subscribe and also if you want to see what it's like being a Coruscant guard and the duties that we uphold you can go check out my Coruscant guard life videos on the channel and it is right it, it, and it's kind of and so yeah make sure you go check those out videos anyways bye